Hey guys, Jordan Stefan here. I, I wanted to start off today by talking about how I prepare my tea. Now I know all the like tea nerds and stuff are gonna kind of freak out and, and stuff. Actually, you know, I I hope you do freak out and comment on this and tell me why what I'm doing is completely broken. But I'm boiling my water in the microwave inside my teacup already. I don't have a tea kettle to heat up my water. Which I do, but why bother with that? That's way too much work. So I heat it up to boiling, take it out, take my tea, which, by the way, today we're reviewing uh, Stash Chamomile. Can't open the packaging, but. Here. There it is. It's a. Uh, this one's made from only chamomile, only chamomile, flowers, right, it's a flower. Um, there it is, a nice light color flower right there. I'll just drop that in the tea, or the, the hot water, straight from the microwave, not pouring it in, you know, from a teapot. I guess that's wrong, but hey, see you guys upstairs. Let this steep for a few minutes. I'll talk to you about how this one tastes. All right, we're back up here. The tea's been steeping for a couple minutes. I know that was kind of a rushed intro on the tea, so I'm just gonna kind of say again, it's uh, from it's another one from Stash Teas, which the uh, acai tea I had yesterday was also from them. Um, this one is a chamomile herbal tea, and it is uh, strictly chamomile flowers. There's nothing else in this one like yesterday had. Ton of crap in it. So. Like I said, it's been steeping for about three minutes, three minutes or so. Um, so, I think I'm going to take a smell here, stick my nose in it. So, immediately when I smell this, I'm taken back, like, I don't know, to when I was five or seven, uh, playing outside in the summer, see these little greenish yellow buds growing out from in between the sidewalk cracks picked that stuff up smelled it you know rubbed it between my fingers that's exactly what i mean that was chamomile right right wild chamomile but this smells exactly like that takes me all the way back to then um you know there was this old lady she was like 90 and me and one of my friends would go over there while she was outside doing her gardening or whatever and we just chatted up with her because she was just I don't know, full of interesting stories, and she was like, yeah, you know, you can make tea out of that. I never tried myself. Well, maybe, maybe I took some hose water in a bowl and threw it in there, but what did I know? So, yeah, this smells exactly like that when you pick it off from the ground and... Because, yeah, I can even smell the, um, I don't know, like the green, like stem and stuff. I don't know. It's exactly what it smells like to me. So, let's taste this. So, doesn't taste like it smells. I mean, You know, it reminds me of honey. Like, you ever take honey? I don't know. When I was a kid, I, well, even now sometimes, right? But I just take some bread, butter it, and then, like, squirt honey all over it and just eat that. And this just tastes like honey or... Honey that you then mixed with green plants and I guess what I'm tasting is the green like stem components of the chamomile I mean it's a plant so but it just tastes like green like if you were a kid and you ever got like plant oils on your hands and just you know it's just that kind of vibe that green plant grassy stemmy vibe mixed with some sweet honey and I guess the sweet honey is kind of the oils from the flower itself
No, I like it. I, I, um, it's not as intense as the, uh, my first tea I tried yesterday, the acai berry one. It's not as intense, it's a lot more subtle, but I do like it. It's naturally sweet, and, um, I do have a cold, so maybe that's messing up my taste a little bit. That's probably why I'm not tasting a ton in this, but I do like it. I, I would have this again, for sure. Um, now they say chamomile is supposed to be good for, like, you know, making you go to sleep, you know, sleepy time tea. A lot of times sleepy time tea blends have chamomile in it, and I can, I can see where this would be relaxing. There's nothing too, there's not really many, like, overpowering flavors in this. Nothing that's gonna, like, excite my mouth and make me want to stay up and just think about that excitement in my mouth, but yeah, I like it. Try this one. Follow me on Twitter at Jordan Stefan. Um, and I, I think I'm going to try something, something that I'm, an idea that I'm borrowing from someone else. But, uh, I'm going to have a question of the day, and I know I had one last night, and I was going to was gonna do it. I can't, for the life of me, remember it. So, how about when you were a kid, and you're outside playing and stuff, did you ever pick those little chamomile buds up, the wild chamomile, and, and smell that, because it smelled good? Did you ever do that? Let, let me know in the, uh, the comments down below on the, uh, on the blog, jordanstephan.com. All right, see you tomorrow.